Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to create multiple HTML documents and link them together. So let's go ahead and create a new page. And we are going to call this new underscore page dot HTML. We will go ahead and copy everything that we have in index.html and we will paste it into new underscore page.html because these are pages are actually going to be pretty similar. Now when we create new page make sure that's in, in the same folder as your index.html otherwise the link would not actually work now on index.html here we, we will create a new paragraph and we will say the first page and on new page.html we will create a paragraph that says our new page Now let's go ahead and create a link between these two pages. To do that, we will create an anchor tag on index.html. We will call this my link. And we will give it the href equal in the quotes new underscore page dot html so that that is knows that it knows what file to link to and when we switch back to the browser and refresh the page we can see my link is there and when we click it it brings us to new page.html so by having two web pages here we made the leap from web pages to having a website which is composed of multiple web pages now you will notice that when we did navigate to new page.html we don't have any way to get back and we should not force the user to relay on back button of the browser we should give them a way to navigate between the pages of our website so let's go ahead and fix this we will go back to our text editor and let's go ahead and go to new page.html and we will create link here using the anchor tag and the href will be to equal in the quotes index index dot html and we will just call this go back we will save that out switch back to browser and refresh we now have a link on new page.html and when we click that it brings it brings us back to index.html page now you will notice up here in the address bar that we know that we are navigating to new page.html because it's actually changing up here so watch that out as i click click this link we will click my link and you see it changes to new page.html we can of course just go ahead and type in index.html and it will take us back now earlier i mentioned that new page.html needed to be in the same folder as index.html in order for this to work that's because we are using what are called relative link which use relative file paths in other words the file path related to another document based on current file location in the file system so index.html is inside of this folder and new page.html is also inside the same folder so we don't need to really specify where else in in, in the directory structure this file is i am just in the same folder so we can simply say that we can simply say what file we want because they are just adjacent to one another <coughs> that sort of complex idea so let's try as a so let's try an example here inside of our bexplain folder 
here we will go ahead and create another folder and I am just going to call this Robin and I am going to move new page.html into Robin folder. So now when we switch back to browser and refresh the page and click on the link in index.html we will get we will get your file was not found or something similar depending on which browser you are using that's that's what's called a broken link so let's go ahead and try to fix this in order to link to the other file we need to specify what folder new page in is in we put it into the folder called robin so let's go ahead and type that out robin and then slash and then the file name it will link us to the file let's switch back to browser so if we back to go on index.html and refresh the page you will notice the link has now turned on turned to blue because that is not a that is not a link that we we have visited yet even though it's the same file it's in a new location and that's what the link is now link is looking at so let's go ahead and click that and now we are on the new page.html you will also notice that the go back link is now blue so let's go ahead and try to click that again we will get an error and that's because we need to actually get out of robin folder here in order to go back to index.html because index.html is not inside of the folder robin it's a level above that so let's go to new page.html in the text editor and in order to jump out of a folder we say dot dot and then we can follow it with the slash the two dots here mean to go up one level rather than the specifying of a folder which which of course brings you brings you down a level so dot dot will brings us up and then we will go to index.html so if we switch back to browser and refresh here we will click on my link on index.html it will bring us to new page.html and if we click go back it will bring us out it will bring us out of robin folder and bring us back to index.html page so that's how relative link works simple as they may be anchors are the anchors are a critical html element that you will use very frequently so guys thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel